Alright, hey, what is going on guys? This is ZK and welcome to video number two of Scripting Basics. Now again, I want to start off with a disclaimer. I am not a professional at this. I have no formal training at all, so don't expect a college level education here or anything. My goal here is just to um, get you guys familiar with the basic functions of how scripting works so that you guys can create all that awesome content in maps and stuff and make your maps have that extra spice that uh, scripting can provide. Today we're going to be talking about if and else functions. Now, these are very, very important for you to understand the basic fundamentals of how they work and how to use them um, because they're, you use them in pretty much every single function that you'll ever do, really. Um, they're very important. So, we're going to talk about them here. In the previous video, we learned about the very basic uh, uh, syntax and how you structure a function and how to declare a variable. Now, we're going to actually do something with that variable to kind of show you um, how the if or else functions up here will work. Okay, so let's get into some practical knowledge here of how we want to use an if function. So down here in my function, we have this function set up, okay, right? This is like our title of our paper. We have our intro paragraph, our conclusion paragraph, and our body content, our body paragraphs, like comparing this to writing a paper, right? So we have our two variables here. So let's say that I wanted to do an if function. I want to do, like have this, the function do something if a equals one. Okay, so because a equals one, let's say we want to use the if function um, to do something with that. So what I would do is I would type in if, and then I would do a parenthesis or uh, uh, whatever you call those things. Um, um, can't think of it. Parentheses, what we'll <laughs> call them here. I'm not sure if that's a technical term in scripting or not, but whatever. Anyway, we're using one of those, and let's say we'll say uh, if a equals one, then we want it to do something. So we would type in if a equals equals one and then close it off with another parenthesis. You see you have to use two equal signs in the if function as expressed up here and we'll talk about the rest of these in a minute but right now we're just doing equals. So in the if function you use two equal signs. So if a equals one then we do another bracket just like we do up here because all functions are enclosed within the brackets if we want them to actually do something etc. So blah 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 blah. So what we end up having here is as soon as my function is called, it's going to define a to equal 1. And then it'll define b to equal 2. And then it'll go down here and say, if a equals 1, then it will do this. And it will do everything inside of these brackets. Now, what I could also do is I could set it up this way. And I could do, let's say we want put another if function. And then we could say, if a equals 2, then do this. Okay, so a equals one. If a equals one right here, okay, then it's going to run this and it's not going to run this because a equals two here. But it's going to try to run this first and then if it can't, it's going to skip over and jump right down to this one. The else function just looks like that. Okay, there's no parentheses, no nothing, okay, it's just the word else, okay? And what the else function does is it's going to do, if there's any other instance besides this, it will run the else function. So for example, let's say that I said a equals three. A does not equal three because up here we're defining it as one. So the compiler will, sk will skip this, or not the compiler, sorry, the game, will skip this and will run this no matter what's going on because a e does not equal three, it equals one, okay? You see what I'm saying there? So let's say if a e did equal one, because we have a defined as one here, okay? If a equals one here, then it's going to run this, and this entire thing will be skipped, because else is only run if everything else, is run in every situation except if a equals one. So what I can do here then, is we can still have two if functions, and we can say, Let's then let's change this really quick, just because we can. So a equals two now. So we just defined that a equals two. Since a does not equal one, okay, then this function is not going to be run. So we that'll that'll be ignored. This function will be run, and this one will not because a equals two. Okay, I'm just trying to get the, the logic built into you, uh, in, kind of into your thinking here, so you kind of understand how this works. If I was to say a equals three, okay. Then it'll skip this function because here it's checking for if a equals one. Then it will skip this one because it's checking if a equals two and it will run this one because it couldn't apply 
uh, these two functions because a didn't equal either of these. You see? So it's the either or system of logic if you guys have ever had a philosophy class or something like that. You know, it's either or system. Okay, so let's say then that basically you guys are wanting to uh, check and see if two variables equal something and then run your function. So for example, let's say that I needed um, a to be 1, but I also needed b to equal 2 at the same time in order to run this, right? So what we do is we come up here to our expressions, and we'll look, take a look at this last one here. I'll jump the gun. Um, and is expressed with two end symbols. So if I wanted down here to say if a equals 1 and b equals 2, then run this, then I would do this. Okay, so you see that? So now, I've, now I'm telling the if function, okay, if a equals 1 and b equals 2, run this, okay? If that is not the case, run this. Okay, you see that? You see kind of how that logic works? Now what I can also do is I can use the or expression and I can replace this with those two vertical parallel lines and now what it'll say is if a equals 1 or b equals 2, run this. If that is not the case, then run this. You see what I'm saying? So now it's almost like having two if functions built into one right here. If A equals one or B equals two, then it'll run that. You see what I'm saying there? So it's really, really handy. Okay, so let's say that you wanna do this then. Let's get rid of B for a second here. Let's say that I want this to be run only if A doesn't equal one. So we have our expression up here, which is the exclamation point always means um, basically not or the opposite um, in the, the language here. So if I wanted a not to equal one to run this, then I would do this, a if a does not equal one, run this. And then what I could also do then is I could do this. If a does equal one, then I want you to run this. You see kind of how how this uh, this whole if else thing is gonna work? So really guys, this is where the key of scripting is right here is the if else functions. You're gonna use those in almost every single function you run unless you're doing more of a procedural type of thing. Um, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, so you have an if function right here, right? If a equals one, it's gonna run this. You can actually do this also. You can put another if function inside of your existing if function. So you see what I'm doing here? Like that. So then I can do this, which isn't extremely practical at the moment because I could just do, you know, and like that and get the same effect, okay? But it's kind of interesting because you can get if functions inside of other if functions and then I can also do this and do this if blah, 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 all while still being inside of this because here's the closing bracket for here. You see that? So this right here is all one, one function together inside of this if function. Okay, so let's, let's dumb it down really quick again and go over the very basics again. Like I said before, the either or system of logic is this if else function, okay? If is always going to be you have to define a variable with that, or not define, excuse me, uh, you have to check for a variable here. So a equals one, right? If a equals one, then the, com then the game is going to do that, else it's going to do this, okay? It's either or. If a equals one, it'll do this, else it'll do that. So I don't know how, how much uh, easier I can explain it to you than that. Um, but that has been the if else function in the scripting basics uh, tutorial series. So thank you guys very much for watching. Next video, we're gonna talk about some, some looping functions like the while and the for functions. Uh, those are really, really handy and you will definitely be needing to use those in the future. And as we continue through this series um, and we I finish uh, getting over the very basic stuff, we'll talk about how to script certain things, how to call functions, and how to actually get some of this stuff into the World at War game so you guys can begin creating awesome content for your maps. So thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to check out the other videos of the scripting series as soon as they start popping up and everything, and for all of my uh, gameplays and, and different things on my channel as well. Thank you guys again 
for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. This is ZK, signing off.